If you guys have been on Facebook a lot, you probably noticed yesterday that we had to transplant my 20 year old Nepenthes Loai. Uh, me and Sean Shoemaker worked on it. He's our new employee. Um, you can see it got a little bumped up. It's, it was physically heavy. It was about as heavy as I could lift up, honestly, uh, with one arm and carry it carefully. And of course, untangling a giant plant like this was really tricky. So yeah, I got this in 2002, right after I had come back from Louisiana Tropicals uh, in Borneo. And I got this at California Carnivores, actually. I wasn't working here right at that time. So technically, you know, I had to buy it. But it was a small plant, about an inch across for about a hundred bucks, just like, you know, some of the ones that you guys have probably already bought. And you're hoping someday it can look like this. So here's the inspiration to show that it actually can be done. I've grown it right next to our evaporative cooler that's off already because it's creeping up on Halloween and it's getting a little bit cooler. But the key to keeping one of these happy for decades is never letting it get hot. That's the real amazing accomplishment of seeing a plant like this because it's so unforgiving. If you freeze it, if it gets too hot, it's going to stop making pictures. It's going to go into this suspended animation. So what you're seeing here is someone that's kept something with a good growth momentum going for 20 years, never letting it get too hot. Stability, stability is what I'm talking about. So, you know, key, the keyness to growing like a really amazing giant rare specimen like this is stable. You want to do everything, you know, routines. You want to have your fertilizer routines, not too wet, not too dry. Um, so that's the real accomplishment here. But you can see these amazing, so many woody toilet shaped pitchers to attract tree shrews. And then this exit it that lures them in is right there on the top of the lid. You can tell there's no rats in the greenhouse because there's still a bunch of it right on there. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what this looked like after we got it all transplanted. And you know, yeah, just because you have something like this doesn't make it any less terrifying to repot. <laughs> I think Sean and I were both really nervous and it was so big that I had to hold the vines like this while wow, he gently got all the roots um, into this big pot. We were really surprised too, because this guy actually had roots. All of the other 20, 30 year old low eyes, because they're epiphytic and they grow up in the crotch of a tree, they're not big rooters. On these big plants, there'd only be a tiny softball sized root ball. This guy had like two or three long eight inch roots, which is really a lot for a plant like this. But it's so scary because if you accidentally break one of those roots, it's probably just gonna die. But I think we did a good job and we'll do an update maybe in the spring to show you how well it's doing with this nice new happy pot and some more room for its roots.